Now again, these are just two ancient accounts. And they may not do anything for you. They may not actually speak to the Jesus that you know, that you worship, that you love. And that is just fine. In fact, it is good. Which leads me to my main point today. That Jesus connects personally with every person he has ever met. Jesus connected when he was on the earth personally with children and women and Roman soldiers and right-wing, right-wing conservatives and left-wing progressives and farmers and fishermen and people from foreign lands and corrupt outlaws and simple peasants and everyone in between. And we might say today that Jesus connects with every person he has ever met. Jesus connects with teachers and moms and dads and postal workers. Jesus connects with tech executives and doctors and lawyers and pastors and children and teenagers. Jesus connects personally with every person he has ever met. And so I just want to invite you now, if you're watching on our chat room, to just tell us what some of your favorite personal qualities of Jesus are. Just feel free, as I continue to finish this message, to write in the margins what are just a few of the things that you love about Jesus. But as we close today, I just want to share with you what some of my personal favorite qualities of Jesus are. Now, these are Graham Baird's personal favorite qualities. They may not be yours, and that's okay. But the personal qualities of Jesus, which ring most in my heart, are what I call the diamond qualities. When I was a senior in college, I was a political science major, but before I could graduate, I still needed to do three credits of an actual science class. So I looked through the prospectus and I found one that sounded sort of interesting. It was on gemology, or the study of rare stones, particularly diamonds. Little did I know that I would someday become a pastor and never have enough money to ever buy a diamond, but, but that's okay. So that semester we studied the famous Hope Diamond, we studied the Centenary Diamond, we studied the Millennium Star Diamond. And what I remember from that class are that all diamonds can be valued and evaluated based on three things. On their strength, on their sensitivity, and on their simplicity. Diamonds are the hardest stone on the face of the earth. The value of a diamond is based on the sensitivity towards light, which is why the setting is so important. But really, the essence of the beauty of a diamond, which is basically just compressed carbon, is its simplicity. And those are the three qualities about Jesus that are most personally affecting to me. Jesus is the strongest person I have ever met. When I was in college and when I was suffering from a virus, not the COVID virus, but the Epstein-Barr virus, and I was beginning to spiral downwards in depression and my life was falling apart. Jesus was the strength that I could brace against. He was the rock against which I could build my life. When I read the words of Jesus, when I heard the words of Jesus, his strength made me feel stronger. Jesus is the strongest thing, person I have ever met. Jesus is the most sensitive person I've ever met. Whenever Jesus would walk through a town, if there was somebody who was hurt or crying or a child who was alone, he would always stop. Whenever there was a sick person, he would always reach out to help them. And Jesus is the most sensitive person in my life. On days when I'm feeling down, Jesus is there and he is feeling down with me. On days when I'm feeling full of joy, Jesus is full of joy and he is right there with me. But finally, and maybe most important for me is Jesus' simplicity is what my favorite quality about Jesus is. Jesus never had a home, never had an expensive car, never had a, a space. <clears throat> Jesus was born in a stable and he died on a prisoner's cross and he was placed in a borrowed tomb. Jesus never had a bank account. Jesus never had a college degree. Jesus was simple. And when I need simplicity in my life, which is a lot, I go to Jesus, who is simple. 
I want to close with this. I've given you a lot of information today about Jesus the person. But I'll never forget an interview that I saw when I was in Colorado Springs by the great producer Mark Burnett. You may have heard of Mark Burnett and you may have watched some of his shows. Mark Burnett produced The Voice, Shark Tank, Survivor, and, and yes, The Apprentice. Probably should leave that one alone. But one thing that Mark Burnett began to do after doing all of these popular television shows with his right wife, Roma Downey, who is also a Christian and from Ireland, is they began to put together Christian shows. And two of the most famous are A.D., The Bible Continues, and The Bible. Now, unfortunately, Mark Burnett's depiction of Jesus is also of a Southern Californian white guy who perhaps had surfed. But again, we all see Jesus through the lens of our own lives. But I'll never forget what Mark Burnett said to a room full of scholars who knew Greek and Hebrew, had more degrees than a thermometer. He looked him in the eye and he said, you know, I know that most, if not all of you, know more about Jesus than I do. But I wonder whether you really love him more. And that, my friends, is what the Christian journey is all about loving Jesus more.